it's best to use two sensors that have the same sensitivity factor so that if you're going to use a simple summer and a voltmeter to measure the thickness, you don't have to uh, be computing, trying to measure, uh, make the measurement with a sensor that, say, has a uh, one microvolt per uh, or one micron per millivolt sensitivity factor versus another sensor which, say, has five uh, microvolts per micron sensitivity factor. This can be done handled digitally, but in analog, it's, it's quite a bit more difficult to do. You have to compensate or have a multiplying coefficient in there. So it, it, in general, it's best to stick with sensors that have the same sensitivity factor. And figure number three, we can see the example where we have two lasers uh, measuring the thickness of, say, sheet metal, and their outputs are vary from minus five to plus five, zero volts being the center of the standoff range. MTI's Microtrack 2 controller uh, outputs a bipolar voltage plus or minus five volts, centered about the specified standoff distance. So that means you can't simply multiply the analog output and run it into an inverting summing amplifier because the output voltage polarity changes and it's going to give you errors if you try to do that using a, a simple summing, analog summing amplifier. The easiest solution to do with, in a case like this is to add an offset to the heads. Um, so what you're going to do is shift that minus 5 to plus 5 volts to a 0 to 10 volt output. Then you sum the outputs. This makes life a lot more simple. To calibrate the display, what you want to do is put a target of known thickness between the two laser heads. And this will, we consider this your golden target. Yeah, it's a known thickness. You've probably taken a micrometer, measured the thickness, and record that, write it on the back of the target because you're going to use this a number of times over the period of life of your equipment to periodically calibrate them. So again, what we do is we place that target of known thickness in between the two laser heads, and then you're going to zero the outputs. So all subsequent measurements are made relative to that golden target. And then simply to get the thickness, you're going to multiply the summing output by the sensitivity factor of the heads. Negative readings are thinner positive readings are thicker. Of course, you can also use the digital outputs from the heads, too. We have, on MTI's Microtrack 2 heads, we have an RS-485 output, and you can run these into a laptop computer or a PLC or a similar uh, processing system and digitally compute the, the, anal the digital output. And then, in turn, we would feed that to additional equipment down the, down the road for process control.